Alright guys, welcome back to another Skyblock Roblox video. Roblox, Skyblock, Skyblock, Roblox, however you want to say it. So in this video, what I'm going to be doing is actually teaching you guys how to make my huge automatic AFK onion bulk storage farm. Okay. Now obviously I've done a video on this before where I was going to show it off, but people have been commenting saying they want a full tutorial on how to build the full thing. I thought what I covered before would be enough, but apparently not. People want actual step-by-step -step guide on how to build it, and that's totally fine. I can do that. Now some people have been commenting saying that my... <laughs> onion farm is the worst one they've ever seen no joke people have commented saying this is the worst one they've ever seen i don't know how i genuinely think it's one of the nicest ones i've ever seen i may be a bit biased but i really do love it these nine chests literally felt like they're completely full right now i just emptied them these fill up within like three to four minutes so within three to four minutes you're getting about 400 onions which is just absolutely insane and i think a lot of the people who are angry when they click on my video is because they're looking for an auto clicker solution all right now this solution isn't for auto clickers okay this is for people who can't use is auto clickers so it's bulk storage not auto click farm so people who are on xbox people who are on shared computers where they can't download auto click software and people who just want to play the game fairly and don't want to cheat with using auto click or third party software but basically i'm going to show you how to build this from scratch not as high as this obviously you can extend it as high as you but look how much onions follow it is honestly so efficient hardly any onions will ever be lost one or two will escape every so often because they just take a really freaky freaky bounce look at them all falling up there so one escaped there and the reason it escaped is because two of them landed directly on top of each other so they kind of like took a weird bounce so i'm going to show you step by step the actual full design to it there's some escaping down here as well but honestly you're generating so much onions that losing one or two like that it just really doesn't matter that one there looks stuck as well but another one will bang into that and knock it into the chest i've seen it happen so many times it's actually a very efficient very very oh, there you go it just banged it and knocked it down you see it is a very efficient farm you lose very little onions and you will get a lot look how much i have right now Twenty thousand six hundred seventy-four. so and i have 3.1 billion coins so it definitely works so i'm going to cash in the onions that i have right now we're going to buy some totems we're going to buy some seeds and i'm going to show you exactly how to make it but before we do that i'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like in the video if you are enjoying it or if it does it is helping you and also subscribe if you're brand new here i'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers and get my silver plaque it's uh, it's been a really hard a really hard grind but we're at 62,000. we're getting there slowly if you could subscribe you'd really be helping out and i'd really appreciate it and you could be first to get all the brand new videos turn on notifications so you'll definitely be first and feel free to leave a comment below as well let me know what you think about it or any ideas you have for future videos okay let's go and get ourselves the right materials and equipment so first of all let me sell my onions Six hundred and twenty thousand coins 3.7 million now choices that's a lot of onions so i'm going to buy carrot totems obviously this works exactly the same for um onion totems as well but i'm buying carrot because my onion farm is already gigantic i do not want to make that any bigger but i do want to extend my carrot farm a little bit i don't actually have any carrot seeds so i need to buy them as well so for my layers they work out about 27 seeds per layer and i'm going to add two layers so i'll buy 60 seeds which is thirty thousand coins now obviously i've said this before hi friend don't worry about building farms like oh look at and see this is exactly what i was telling you about how efficient this is the chests are full again look they're full it's very very efficient and yes a lot of people want the afk auto click method but not like i said not everyone is able to do that and this is for bulk storage you can generally go about and do stuff to your island do your other tasks and it will just keep filling up the onions for you and lots of different chests not just one chest which most auto clicks are um, that's not true bulk storage because you have to keep emptying that chest every minute so you can't get anything else done okay so we have all the items we need to build these bulk storage farms we have grass blocks we have industrial chests we have conveyor belts glass panels totem seeds uh, and ladders as well so you can climb up and down the side so basically let me just show you how we make it how wide it's going to be will depend on how much chests you have for the bottom so i could make mine 13 layers wide right now uh, then i would need 13 totems per layer and then obviously 13 rows of seeds per layer as well let's just say when you're first starting out you can only afford to make it five wide okay so one, two, three, four, five wide. Then what you want to do is, this is going to be your conveyor belt row, okay? So the chest will be at the front here, okay? And now you can't rotate items in Skyblock, it's very annoying. You've got to place them like backwards like this. But make sure the arrows are pointing this way, obviously, so that it's going into the chest. Now this will be your conveyor belt row, but obviously you don't put any, you put conveyor belts in the bottom row, but you don't put any totems in the bottom row. So again, make sure the arrows are facing into the chest, okay? Like 
got that. Okay, so now we have our chest and we have our conveyor belt. So everything's going to fall onto this row of conveyor belts and go into the chest. Now, behind the conveyor belts needs to be a totem. Again, we're not building it on the bottom row, but there needs to be a totem layer for the, the rows above. Then behind the totem row, there has to be three layers, three rows backwards of seeds, okay? Because the totems can only pick up uh, three layers backwards. They can't pick up any more than that. They can pick up from around the edges, but if you try to add seeds around the edges, it just starts looking really messy, and it's not a very nice looking farm. You could do it for, like, maximum efficiency but I just don't I don't recommend it because when you're trying to build up the different layers I actually don't even know if it would work with the different layers how they would all come together but there's the the totem layer three layers back for the the seeds now you could just end it here but I like to also leave an extra layer just for like a, a layer of grass behind it looks nicer also if you're going to be climbing up and walking through the layers it just makes sense to have a layer that you don't have to step up over all the all the crops so remember not placing anything in the bottom layer we're just setting the foundations here so we have our totem layer three layers layers back three rows back for seeds then a, a, just a nice little grass row then at the back here is where we're going to build the back wall so you have to put this down then start building up the back wall for the next layer now this has to be four blocks high four blocks high from this layer so five in total because we've got the bit underneath but one you have to go one two three four up from from this layer okay four blocks high uh, and that's just how, that's the, that's the minimum height you can make it to make it more efficient. Now we want to close off all this area in here because we don't want the, the crops that are falling down onto the conveyor belts to bounce backwards into this big hole here. Now you don't have to fill it all in completely, you don't have to fill this middle bit in that I'm standing in. You just have to fill in the sides so that they can't escape out the sides and you just have to fill in the layer that is behind the conveyor belt so they don't bounce back. Again, just do this up to the same height that you need it to be. Okay, and then obviously you're just going to fill in up here because this is where we're actually going to place our stuff. And that is a whole new row built on top here. We don't have to count anything out. Uh, all the, the counting was done when we built the bottom layer. So everything, as long as we keep filling this in, everything will just work perfectly. So uh, say we're going to make this two rows high. So I know that I need to make this another four blocks higher to fit in the next row above. If you're a bit lost right now, don't worry, it will come together as soon as we start placing all the items down. So that's four blocks high. I know I can put another layer here. I don't have to count out the blocks. I just have to make sure that it matches up with here. Yep, like this, so it doesn't go out too far. Like that, and just like that, we have two rows ready to have our totems and seed placed out. That is literally all it is. It's kind of like this solid block, but with, with with holes carved out in the middle. Just and look, those those chests are filled up again. They fill up so fast, and obviously you can tell when they're ready to be emptied because you can see all the onions like that are left over on the conveyor belts that can't fit in the chest because they're too full. Okay, I'll talk about how we make the sides uh, prettier with the glass blocks and stuff in a sec. Let's just get building our first row. Actually, I'm going to close off the sides just now. You have to also close off the sides here to the conveyor belts, otherwise the on like the onions or whatever crop it is will, of course, um, bounce off like the conveyor belt here and come out the side. So you could just do that, uh, and that would be efficient. But I like to. I've run out of grass blocks. Back in a sec. Of course, if you run out of grass blocks, you can also always just come here and buy them. This guy, they're they're relatively cheap. 500 coins for 100 blocks is, is fairly decent. Okay, 500, that should be more than enough. You will go through a lot of grass blocks. A lot of onions are escaping here and it's because I've made it just way too high. Okay, I was, I did a, a, a video where I, I made a waterfall of onions and got people to stand underneath it and let them farm it for a minute. You can check that out if you want. Um, this chest, is that full again? Jesus. You can get, uh, I basically made a waterfall and made them stand underneath. They stood in here inside this glass and they could just farm for like a minute. I took away all the chests and stuff. Pretty cool video, you can check it out. But anyway, so you wouldn't make it that high. That's just way too high. They just, you know, they bounce way too much. Um, and obviously you're seeing just how fast they're filling up. But uh, let's just close this off more, okay? So I would take this uh, up to about that height. And of course, just add an extra row on the side here. And I'm going to build this little path. Just so I have a path to come to here. Because we're going to put ladders here, okay? So you can climb up the different layers. Uh, if you're going to extend layers, basically, you put you climb on the ladder. So let me just grab them quick. I need to make more of them, actually. They're so annoying because there's no way to automate chopping down trees, unfortunately. But that's how you get up and down the layers. Um, you do this, hop off in here. And of course, uh, we need to close off this side as well. Otherwise, the carrots that we're making here, they would just keep falling off the side and we'd keep losing them. So obviously, we'll put ladders at this side as well so we can climb up and down. You wouldn't build it here. I would... I would <laughs> 
like on the edge here somewhere. I was just, I, I've run out of space. I guess I would have to expand my island here. So there was actually somewhere to walk next to the farm. I mean, obviously a lot of it is just, it's kind of common sense when you're building it. As long as there's no gaps in the sides, you, you expand your island the way you want to expand it, the way you want it to look. And um, that would allow me to then put ladders here and I could climb up on top of uh, there and obviously they just keep going up ladders up this side and the other side But for now, let's actually just place our totems there. Let's actually get something working So actually conveyor belts first conveyor belts the conveyor belts need to collect the crops and run off the edge Then we place the totems behind the conveyor belts and then we place the crops behind now I talked about leaving a, a layer for grass behind this so it wasn't like just flat against the wall. Uh, obviously I didn't <laughs> count it properly, but if you just move this wall back one, leave an extra block here for your your glass. You don't have to, like it will still work completely fine. I just place the crops down here and um, it'll work completely fine. I just like to leave, like a, if I show you my other one, uh, I like to leave a, a layer behind of grass like that just because I think it looks a bit nicer, but you know, you absolutely don't have to do that. And that is literally all it is. And you go up to the next layer. Obviously there would be ladders here if I had some to place. And you go up to the next layer, then you grab the conveyor belts. Like this. Not like that, because that's the edge. There we go. Just keep making sure it matches up, okay? Make sure your conveyor belts are all in line with the other conveyor belts. Then behind that would be the totems. Then behind that, again, three layers of crops. Uh, this is what I was talking about with the grass layer here, so I would basically, if I wanted to extend that, just put another layer in here and then put it, remember, four high, okay, one, two, three, four, and then build it back out again for the next layer on top there. Just as simple as that, that's all you keep doing, just up like that. Now, as for the sides, okay, you have to keep everything locked in. Uh, I mean, it, nothing will fall off the sides here, but it just doesn't look nice when it's open, in my opinion. Uh, there is something you have to do at the front though because the crops will bounce out the front if you don't do this so This is where the glass panels come in glass panes. Okay, so what you have to do is just right above the the conveyor belt there is just Put some glass panels in that will stop anything from bouncing out and escaping just like this And you just keep building up so whenever you have a new layer You just keep adding the glass panels in front of that layer so that nothing can escape and you just take that up like that is so difficult to place this. There you go. I obviously make sure you have just the glass just in front of that there. So they'll roll off the edge and they'll fall straight down onto the conveyor belts and they won't uh, roll forwards. Now what I do is I put in another layer of glass, okay? So just in front here like this. So it's like a double layered glass. Just it's to maximize uh, so that you get nothing escaping, okay? So I put another layer like this just in front. Uh, all the way down so that it's really close look the crop the crop will roll off the conveyor belt here and literally it, if it's going to roll too far it'll just hit the glass and fall straight down yeah and that's exactly what you want this layer of glass on the outside here is like a double protection layer because sometimes when they when they fall down they can have like, like a really awkward bounce and this just makes sure they're locked in so you have an inside layer like this going down uh, and the crops will roll off, hit the glass and go down. And then when they bounce on the bottom conveyor belts, if they bounce back up, they will. this layer of glass will stop them as well. Now, the last touch I do is I, I actually add a layer of glass uh, along the sides as well. Ignore this uh, outer layer here. I was placed them in the wrong place. Take these ones away. So just along the side of the conveyor belt, I add glass along the side. Uh, and I just extend that a little bit like that, okay? So that it's like fully locked in there is not much gaps for anything to escape. And uh, just recently, I actually added an, another extra protective layer, these full glass square blocks. I just fully closed off everything. There's just no holes or gaps anywhere. Uh, and you can kind of improvise as you're extending and building. You'll kind of know what needs to be, needs to fit around your island. But that is the basic, uh, the basic design. So I think I took it this layer here and then I added in the glass blocks like this and then I just built them there yeah so you see it's it's fully it's fully closed off inside there there's just there's no way anything <laughs> can escape they've got two layers of protection um, I, I built the glass block one more this way and one more that way yeah so that's that's the basic the basic design the chest there along the bottom then the conveyor belts uh, you've got the the correct numbers to go back and upwards uh, three layers back from the totem 
I hope that's everything you need to know to get started and to get building your farms. Obviously, as you can afford more stuff, you can easily extend this. Just put more chests along the way like this, as, as far as you can, and then just take away this side wall, uh, and then just extend it to the end there, and put obviously more totems, more conveyor belts, more crops. But that is it, and I need to empty these again already. So hopefully I explained that well enough for you people that were asking me to make a full tutorial. I hope that uh, is enough explanation for you. If you need any more help, be sure to just leave it below in the comments. If this isn't the style of uh, auto farming for you, then that's totally fair. You can look for the auto click method. This is not an auto click method, it's just a full bulk storage method. Please leave a like if you if you enjoyed the video, comment below like I said, and subscribe if you're brand new here, I'd really appreciate that. And uh, look out for more Roblox Skyblock videos coming soon. There's big updates coming real soon. They've been talking about, uh, they've been asking the community what they would like to see for better AFK auto farm methods. Uh, so I, I guess they're working on uh, new, new styles of chests and new styles of automation. Uh, so I'll definitely be covering that when that update comes out. But for now, uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.